Hello everyone, this is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. Now in this Canva tutorial, I'll be showing you how to actually import different file formats into Canva itself so that you can make edits and then also how to export your Canva templates or a final project in Canva into PowerPoint as well as PDF files. All right. So let's dive in. We are now on the Canva homepage and in order to actually import different file formats on the Canva, there are actually two ways to do it. Okay. But before I jump into that, um, I'm going to show you how to actually import Word document, PowerPoint files, PDF files, as well as Excel files. Okay. And like I said, there are actually two ways to do it. And the first way to do it is to actually go to this button that says create a design on the top right hand corner, click on it. And then you will see that on the drop down list here, there's this icon that says import file. So you can click on that and let's just import a word document. So depending on um, the size of your word document, you know, if you have tons of pages, then it's going to take a longer time for the file to be converted and imported into Canva. And now we have it right here. So you see, this is actually a Word document with two pages. So um, there we go, right? So let me just zoom in. And you see that I can actually still make changes to the words. I can type new text. I can actually change the font size. Let's say change the size 14. I can also change the font. But one thing to note is that um, after you change the font, let's just control A to select all of that and change the font. When you change the font, you also need to make sure that you're actually not um, causing a misalignment of all your content, right? Because sometimes when you change the font, that could cause your alignment to go haywire, all right? So like this, look at this. This is kind of messy right now. So, um, and look at that. So now the alignment has all gone really messed up. So it's something that you want to keep in mind before you change, but not to worry. There's always the undo button so we can just undo and then keep it um, as what it was. All right. But the good thing about being able to import a Word document onto Canva is, well, we can add graphics to it so much more easily, right? As compared to trying to design a document on Word doc itself. So here, let's say we can go to the elements. And then if we're just looking for digital papers, you can search digital papers or to be on the safe side, upload your own, you know, commercial use graphics and then add them. But just for demonstration purposes, let me just add this particular um, digital paper to the background, stretch it and positioning all the way to the back. And then after that, I can go to elements again and just add a simple rectangle shape like this, resize it, make it to white and resize it and then after that positioning it go to the ellipse menu positioning it backwards so that um, i can actually see the words much better now like this so now instead of just a plain old you know word document i have a nice design and it's just done in a couple of minutes in fact just seconds because i'm using canva okay so this is really really cool when it comes to adding designs to your plain old word document Okay, now that you have seen me import a Word doc, what about another file type, right? Let's go back to the home page. Okay, so here, what I did was I went to create a design and imported a file this way, right? So now if I want to import a different file, the other way of doing it is let's just slightly minimize this. And then I'm going to open up my file right here. And I'm going to find an Excel sheet. Okay, so I've got this actual Excel sheet right here. So what I can do is I can just click and drag. So look at that. You can just click and drag to your Canva homepage and then it will automatically upload it. Okay, so there are two ways to do it. Click and drag the file onto your Canva page or go to create a design and then click on import file. Now we have imported a Word document just now and now we are importing an Excel sheet. Now, as you can see, it is not working very well because let me just zoom in. You can see that the alignment has totally gone messed up. Okay. So not quite something you would want for your Excel sheet, but I suppose if you are actually using an Excel sheet with just one column, you know, that could still be a good way to just export it 
import it onto Canva and then add the designs as you wish. Okay, so same thing, we can actually add designs. Let me just search for flowers. And here, you know, it's just really easy just adding a design to your page. This is why it's so fun to do designing on Canva. Okay, so now we've done Word doc, we've looked at Excel, which is not very good for the, um, to actually import Excel sheets onto Canva, as you can see right here, okay? Now, how about a PowerPoint file? Okay, let's go back here, and I'm going to go to create a design, go to import file right here, and pick my PowerPoint file, this one. So this is actually a PLR product. If you're not familiar with the term, it's actually a PLR refers to private label rights. What it essentially means is that if this particular product comes with private label rights, you are allowed to actually edit it rebrand it, customize it, and then resell it as your own, okay? But as you sell it, you can only sell to your customers for their personal use only, okay? So in other words, it also comes, it basically comes with commercial use rights allowing you to redistribute this particular product, okay? So here I have this PowerPoint Back to School Canva, which I created some time ago. And now I have, imp I created everything in PowerPoint and now I just imported it onto Canva. Okay, so you see that I've got 77 pages in all. Now the maximum number of pages you can have in one project on Canva is now at 200. So if you have a, a file that is way too large, it will probably not be able to work well as you are importing it into Canva. Okay, so that's one thing to note. And here, as you can see, this is already a very lovely design, but let me just play around with it and I'm just going to delete the graphics and I can still, you know, make changes to it. This is a dated um, planner. And then let me just delete that. And same thing, I can go to elements. I can look for some, let's say, watercolor papers and just use it to change the look of my planner. Okay, so that's it. That is how you actually import a PowerPoint file and then you can actually make changes too. Okay, so let me just go into a little bit more detail here. We can change the colors to the font like this, delete that. And here I can also resize the box. Here I can move the lines around. So you can move almost all of those um, elements as well. Okay, here. But you know, the numbers are kind of messed up because in the original PowerPoint file, um, the dates on the calendar are on the top left hand corner of the box. So there are some things that might get a little bit misaligned when you import the file onto Canva. But this is good because it makes it, I mean, even then, you know, even with those, um, it still gives you a great way to start adding designs to those files. Okay, so this is for PowerPoint. Now back to Canva Home. Now, now I want to import a PDF file this time around. And I'm going to go with the drag and drop. Okay, so let me just minimize this a little bit and find the PDF file that I want to import. So I'm just going to click and drag this here, this PDF file. And the same thing, let's give you a few moments for it to be converted onto a, into a Canva project. And there we go. Now, hmm, it looks a little, um, okay, so things are loading now. So same thing, but um, I think some of the same thing, some of the alignment has gone a little messy. So just be sure to look into all that as you make changes. Um, yeah, so I can still delete, delete elements. I can then um, add some designs of my own and, you know, just to quickly make a change, just add the digital paper, resize it and put it all the way to the back. So something like that. Okay, so you can basically import different types of file formats onto Canva right now and then add on your new designs and still make edits to the words and the text and the font sizes, etc. It's just that you want to make sure that 
as you do that, the alignment still looks good. Okay, so that's definitely you have to be very careful with that. Now, um, I also want to show you about now that we have imported Word document, Excel sheets, uh, PDF and PowerPoint, I want to show you how we can actually export Canva in PowerPoint file as well as in PDF file. Okay, so let me just uh, open up one of my canva projects right here this halloween gift tags so i actually uploaded some commercial use um, graphics and then design these and then now i want to export it into a powerpoint file so how do i do that so go to share and instead of downloading you know if you're typically just um you know you're done with your final final work and you want to export it, what you want to do is you go to download and then you can actually save it either in JPEG, PNG or PDF. So that's what I would typically do, right? So um, let's say I create these printables and now I want to sell it. I would download it in PDF standard and then export it. But if I want to actually export it in PowerPoint, instead of going to download, I need to go to more. Okay, go to this section more and just scroll down until you see this okay save as powerpoint so it's just one click you can also choose the number of pages in this particular case i want to just export all the pages into a powerpoint file and click on download okay so then it's actually going to convert what you have on this canva project into an editable powerpoint file which is really cool because you know um I love that we have all these different platforms that we can use because every different every platform has different features, right? So that is the awesome thing about it. So when you export it from Canva to PowerPoint, it allows you to create different things on PowerPoint as well. Um, yeah, so here, look at that, right? It looks exactly the same. Um, the format has been exported beautifully. Okay, nothing, there's no like missing alignment or whatsoever. So this actually looks good. Now, but just to um, show you, let me just zoom in right here. Okay, so you can still make edits. So I'm just going to try to delete things okay, and see what moves. So here, well, the shape of the gift tag is gone. Let's just undo that. And then right here, you would see that that's shape format and this picture format, which means I can actually change the contents of this shape. So let's go to shape format and change the shape fill. Let's change it to this orange. And there you go. So instead of that, you know, the Halloween uh, digital paper, I just have a plain uh, gift tag right now. I can also go right here to the outline. Let's change it to black outline and change the weight of the outline like this. So there we go. And then here, same thing, I can change the colors of the text. I can also change the fonts. Okay, so things are still definitely, you know, editable. I can definitely still edit, edit it and move it around like this, okay? Now here, just to demonstrate uh, some more, go to shape format again, shape fill, and then I can actually change a different picture and maybe one of these nice blue uh, digital papers. And there we go. And same thing, go to the outline and let's increase the weight of the outline like this. Okay, so I basically have changed the Halloween gift tags from Canva, exported into PowerPoint and then still make changes to them in PowerPoint itself. So it really gives you the room to move back and forth with, you know, play around with different platforms and use different features of different platforms. And we are back here. So that is how you can actually export a Canva file as a, into a PowerPoint file, export it as a PowerPoint file. Now, what about PDF? Okay, I wanna bring your attention to exporting into PDF. So as you can see just now, when we import, a file to um, a PDF file into Canva, it allows you to kind of split up all the individual elements, right? The graphics and the text and everything. So um, if you're doing creations in Canva and you export it as PDF, um, now that Canva allows you to import a PDF file, you want to be very careful as you export your PDF. Okay, so what do I mean? Now we're still using this um, Halloween gift tags. I want to download this as a PDF file. Okay, I'm going to PDF standard and I'm just gonna download it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you two different types of PDF. One is the PDF without it being compressed 
and the other is a compressed PDF. Okay, I want to show you the difference because it's very important when it comes to, um, let's say, graphics, especially like commercial use graphics. Okay, so I have actually purchased these commercial, these digital papers that you see, these Halloween digital papers, these are purchased on retail sites like Creative Fabric fabrica.com as well as prettygraphic.com okay those are my two go-to places for commercial use graphics so i use them and i download it as pdf my final project is pdf and then i sell it to my customers right for their personal use so this is the pdf file okay and then i'm going to re-import it back onto canva okay so here let me just um rename it but this is not compressed, okay? And save it. So I did the work in Canva. I exported it as PDF and I'm now re-importing it into Canva, okay? So let's just wait for it and hit back here again. And now this time around, I'm gonna download it differently. I'm gonna to go to share, going to download, still same PDF standard, but now I'm gonna check this box, okay? flatten the PDF. Okay, I'm going to flatten it and then I'm going to download it. Okay, so the first PDF file wasn't flattened. The second PDF file was flattened. Okay, so let's just give it a few more moments. Now, this is also downloaded, but let me rename it as compressed or flattened. Okay, I think it's more, more accurately, I should call it flattened instead of compressed. Okay, so back here, I have imported this, the Halloween printables that, that isn't flattened, right? The PDF that wasn't flattened. So, do, so what do we see? We still see that these individual elements can be separated. I can delete them. I can remove them. I can edit them. Okay, if I do this, this means that, you know, I have actually done my due diligence as, you know, selling my final product in PDF file without the intention of letting my customers edit my project, right? But the fact that Canva has this feature that allows people to import PDF onto Canva and make edits to them. So if you want to make sure that your contents cannot, cannot be edited, then you have to make sure that you flatten them, okay? Because when you save as a normal PDF standard and people were to import it, onto Canva, they can still mess things up. They can still change it. They can steal your graphics and then, you know, and then, you know, they are violating those rights, but they can do that. And that is not ideal, right? So that is what happens when you just save it as a PDF, you import it, you can still make changes to it. Now, if I were to import the one that I compressed, right, or rather flattened, now, what do we see? Now, this is the compressed version and let's see what we've got. Do you see that? I can no longer remove the individual gift tags. Whereas when I have my PDF saved as just as PDF without flattening the elements on it, when somebody imports the PDF back into Canva, it allows them to make changes like these. But if I had actually exported as a compressed, sorry, as a flattened PDF, as a flattened PDF, you see things are all flattened together. They are not separable. Okay, so this is one thing that you want to know. So if you, um, you know, just, just to safeguard yourself, you want to make sure that people don't actually kind of take your PDF, upload it to Canva and then start separating the things, extracting it and stuff like that. Then you want to make sure that when you download it, go to PDF standard and make sure you check the box for flatten PDF before you download it so that people will not be able to make further edits to your PDF file. Okay. So that's it. I do hope that this has um, given you a better idea on how to import and export files. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And I would very much appreciate it if you can actually like this video, follow our channel to stay updated on new Canva tutorials added regularly. Okay, I'll see you around.